A new book says the U.S. military has for years been contaminating the water on the Japanese island of Okinawa, affecting drinking water for 450,000 people. High levels of carcinogenic chemicals have been found in rivers near the base, and local authorities say the U.S. military isn't cooperating by allowing government officials to inspect the bases. So what's the story? How are people in Japan and the U.S. reacting? And what are the greater implications? With more, I am joined from Kyoto via Skype by Takesato Watanabe, Professor Emeritus at Doshisha University, and from Washington, D.C., by Professor Joseph Mahoney of East China Normal University. It's great to have you both with us on the show. So first, a quick little background here, because it's kind of a complicated story. We're talking about chemicals, um, PFAS, FAAs, per- and polyfluoroalkyls. It's a very common chemical used in all sorts of products all over the world, from clothing to frying pans to fire retardant uh, used by the military. So, Professor Mahoney, let me start with you here. You know the background here. Do you feel like the U.S. military is to blame for what they're finding in Okinawa? Yeah, complete. You know, I think, yes. I think that uh, most uh, evidence you know, at this point indicates uh, that... They have the special... Profe the, the, See, yeah, right. the question was for Professor Mahoney. I'm not sure if both of y'all got it, but Professor Mahoney, go ahead. Oh, yes. Yeah, I think most of the evidence indicates uh, uh, not just this book, but several years that that the likely culprit is is the U.S. base, uh, and above all, the the fire retardant used in their hangars for, for fire suppression. Um, and there have been, uh, according to Freedom of Information Act uh, uh, releases. Uh, uh, Several instances where uh, large uh, quantities of this uh, chemical have been dumped, uh, either by accident or, or to, to uh, retard fires. So I don't think that that is is really uh, uh, disputed reasonably. The real issue is that uh, the U.S. government has, uh, per its uh, uh, status of force agreement, not allowed uh, Japanese officials to uh, come onto the base to test. And if you understand how uh, the U.S. Uh, legal system works vis-a-vis um, -vis, uh, environmental contamination, as long as you don't lie about things, um, it's really hard uh, to prosecute. And it's even, even more impossible to prosecute or, or bring uh, this issue in Japan because uh, the, the SOFA agreement uh, allows uh, the U.S. Um, uh, to avoid that type of uh, uh, investigation as well as legal liability. So, Professor Watanabe, help us understand just how big of a deal this is. So, the chemical was found in rivers near the base, in, blood, uh, in the blood of people nearby. Uh, officials there insist the tap water is safe, although there have been sp uh, sp spikes of this chemical in the tap water. Um, help us understand just how big of a risk does this actually pose? There are so many people, especially among younger generation, and also the pregnant women, uh, who are suffering from the PFOS uh, given by the U.S. military base Kadena, but the prefecture office uh, <coughs> criticized the Air Force uh, <coughs> base, and also the scientists criticized the uh, <coughs> U.S. bases. However, there is very strange agreement between Japan and the United States government named uh, U.S.-Japan Status of Forces Agreement. This means that, you see, any criminals, not only in this case, but also any criminals uh, who are working for the U.S. bases in Okinawa could not be called to the, you see, the court. They are free to do anything. So this is the backbone of the serious matter of this case. In addition, in addition, you know, uh, in Okinawa, there are so many you see, poor people because so, of the so are, economic are, segregation. So, yes. to be, so to be clear, are you saying that the, the biggest is, you know, oversight and responsibility, or is it the health, or both? Both, both. Okay, so uh, talk about the oversight component here then. Yes. Uh, in Okinawa, Okinawa local government, you see, checked the people's health. They found so many serious, you see, damages uh, physically to the people. But people asked the uh, Okinawa office, but 
Okinawa office cannot do anything because of the agreement between Japan and the U.S. government, central government agreement. So this is, is existing behind the scene of this serious problem. Um, Professor Mahoney, you know, uh, this base, these bases on Okinawa by the United States military are not popular with the people on that island. They are supported overall by the public and by the Japanese government. But, uh, I mean, do you feel like this water issue is further feeding the resentment of the people on that island against the U.S. military there? You know, I, I was looking at the numbers uh, uh, this morning, uh, and from what I can see, uh, it, it, it appears that still a majority of uh, Okinawans support the bases, although they're frequently frustrated by uh, the lack of uh, responsibility or having to pay the cost and, and, uh, directly, financially or, or socially for their presence. Um, but uh, the, the other issue is that, you know, th the scale seems to be tipping in the U.S. favor in so much as Japan is increasingly worried about a rising China. And uh, young people, uh, even young people in Okinawa, are not as politically active as their parents and grandparents. Um, and when they do tend to be uh, active, which is very rare, they tend to lean right. Uh, and, uh, and this tends to favor uh, U.S. policies. So I think that, I think that while we, we would expect uh, Japanese people, especially the older generation that grew up during the U.S. occupation that didn't end in, in Okinawa until 1972, uh, we, we would expect that to be sort of a, a crystallizing uh, anti-U.S. narrative. But, but in fact, um, I don't think that this is, this is really going to explode into view. But we might see some changes if Biden is elected. Uh, we might see this as uh, some increasing pressure for the U.S. to, to renegotiate the, the SOFA. Uh, I'm not entirely optimistic that that would happen but it's a possibility. Um, Professor Watanabe, I want your reaction to that. What do you think? Do you agree with that? I don't agree to my regret, but um, in Okinawa, especially the young people, they are angry. Uh, elderly people have been doing like that, but young people are angry because whatever they do against U.S. sustain in Okinawa, they cannot get any favorable answers. And also, the, uh, in Okinawa, many young, you see, uh, pregnant mothers, pregnant women, they are victims of, the, of this case. And also, young women, they are victims of the sex crimes of the U.S. soldiers. So the younger generation are also agree, angry uh, against the U.S. forces in Okinawa, especially in Kadena. Kadena is the biggest U.S. Air Force base in the East a mm -hmm. Asia, not only in Japan, but in East Asia. This is located for, anyway, you see, in their world, for the security in East Asia against China. So uh, this is very much complicated. The, the uh, public opinion in the United States might be it, like that, but in Japan, the, there are no uh, see, agreeable uh, opinion to that, to my see, frankly speaking idea. So, Professor Mahoney here, I want to get back to the environmental concerns here, um, which really sparked our conversation about this in Okinawa. You know, this book that we just mentioned describes how uh, there's been other concerns, similar concerns in Guam, in Saipan. How would you describe the scope of these allegations against U.S. military? Is there something there, or is it really just a lot of, like, anger that's not necessarily justified? You know, I think that if we, if we took the total picture, you know, if we look at uh, the level of contamination that we see just with U.S. military bases in the United States, uh, if we look at um, uh, the wars that U.S. has fought and, and the chemicals used in, in Vietnam, uh, the, 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 the nuclear testing in, in, um, in the Pacific, if we look at all of these things over time, uh, I would say the cumulative burden has been quite high. Uh, it's not just Okinawa, it's not just Guam, um, and it's not just, it, it, it includes, you know, uh, steaming around and around in circles with, with carrier fleets and jet planes and flying up and down 
uh, the Chinese coast with spy planes. All these things are contributing a uh, considerable amount of, uh, of uh, destruction. Uh, some of it is, is perhaps uh, uh, understandable within, within certain contexts, but a lot of it um, is, is unaccounted for and, and uh, is, is likely contributing significantly to environmental degradation. So, Professor uh, Watanabe, I'm going to give the last word to you. What do you think needs to be done to clear up some of the anger you mentioned in Okinawa? In Okinawa, if the uh, <coughs> government of Japan deployed its government to respond to the request of the Okinawan people, Okinawa's e economic status is very low, income level is very low, and living standard low, it means. In addition, there is no right to appeal to the court as far as the crimes of the U.S. soldiers are concerned. So these things are surrounding all the matters, serious matters of, of this case over the health problems. So this is very serious, complicated. Well, that is certainly the truth. Very complicated, very serious, a lot of anger there. Professor Takesato Watanabe and Professor Joseph Mahoney, thank you both for your time today. And with that, we're going to come to the end of this edition of The Point. As always, follow us on Facebook and Twitter using the handle Liu Shin in Beijing. Download the CGTN app to watch our show or go to YouTube and look for CGTN The Point. Thanks for watching.